So I received over 100 photos from you guys, but since that would take me forever to edit, I have selected these five photos as examples to hopefully help you improve the quality of your photos as well as speed up your editing process. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna launch Lightroom. And I've got my five photos here that you guys have submitted. The reason why I selected these photos was for specific reasons. Uh, images that I typically would take myself as far as angles or like this one. This one's a little bit of a tricky one. There's a lot going on and but it is a great photo. There's nice colors. It's well balanced in exposure. But we'll get to that. But let's go ahead and start with this one here. This is a, a classic track photo. Now where I normally start with editing is I'll obviously go to my develop tab and this is fully in Lightroom like I mentioned. And now I have presets here that I've created and or that I've these ones I actually purchased um, but I use these for a typical basis starting point for myself and I'll link that in the description where you can get these as well um, they are paid however and I typically start with the the mood that I want so we're gonna do just a before and after here this is just with the preset attached and this isn't bad so far this is a starting point keep in mind so because this bike is green let's go ahead and see if we can retain some of those greens here Bring that back up and I'm going to crush these greens just a little bit and reduce the saturation just a tad. You can see how this gives it a nice punch already. See all the details coming in right here? Watch the difference. See how much punch that has? Let's go ahead and desaturate this just a tad. Somewhere around there. That looks pretty good. I typically do before and after and you can use that using the See, I want to take my whites and I'm going to make my whites just a little cooler. Drop this down just a tad, plus 11. That looks pretty good. And there's a lot of debris going on. Now, I leave it up to you guys as far as how you guys want to clean that up. I personally, because just because this is kind of part of the track day experience, you know. However, I personally like a more clean photo. So we're going to go ahead and clean this all up. So I'm gonna open this in Photoshop really quick just because I can do it a little bit faster. And if you have Lightroom, you will have this as well. This is the spot healing brush and this works a little bit quicker. So like I said, I'm gonna go in and just clean it, finish cleaning this up really quick. All right, so as you can see, the bike already looks, in my opinion, a lot cleaner, which will give you a more quality or a higher quality image. And the reason why my photos tend to stand out a bit more is because I take the time to go in and get rid of any imperfections or however you would like to call it. This is the, uh, the end of the photo here for this one. All right, let's go ahead and go jump into the next one. This is a very nice shot to begin with. Um, I don't see a whole lot that I have to change so far. This is a raw photo, so this is clearly shot at sunset because of the warmth. But let's go ahead and see. We can try um, going in and copying this edit because the colors are very similar. So we'll go in, just tone this down just a tad. I personally like how this is almost like a leading line. If this was not out of focus, that would I would definitely remove this. However, because it's slightly out of focus, it, it kind of leads it to the bike. So that's not too big of a deal. I want that bike to be nice and white and pop. My biggest theme is going for those nice yellows, those nice whites and blues. This photo is a great, great shot so far. It's exposed fairly well. It's a little, little bit bright here, but for one, the reason why I selected this photo is because it's got some great depth of field. It's white. It's got this red here. So those two pop really well together. It's got that nice yellow and I like to look for those colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this because it already has white in it. I'll go ahead and copy these traits, paste it on this. And this is obviously too white to begin with, so let's go ahead and bring that yellow back up to where we were. 
and this is too cold, so we'll bring this warmth up just a tad. Bring our shadows down, make them contrast a bit more. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my highlights down because it's, it's pretty high with this image. So you can get some more contrast here. And as you can see in here, there's a lot of blue. I want my whites to be white, so we're gonna go in and take this blue take some of this blue out and you can see how much that helps that's obviously too much take a little bit of the edge off here you can see the difference already pops a lot more I personally love those desaturated looks and just look at that those red headlights look incredible right here and I typically try not to mess with the clarity too much because it creates this drastic effect and that's personally too much for me somewhere here and before after before after now the only thing I would do is crop this. This is a little bit large. Let's see if we can crop it at a different angle. Let's go as shot. Bring this down, there we go, that's a nice crop. So next shot, the owner requested me to blur out the plate. I haven't done nothing else to this other than that. But let's go ahead and edit these colors. And then I'm gonna remove this and some other details in Photoshop again. So let's go ahead and copy this, see how it looks on here. So the highlights have to come back up, bring this down just a tad. Shadows look pretty nice. Fix those just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do something that I don't, or that I haven't done yet, which is create an adjustment brush. And what this is going to do is going to bring out this exhaust a little bit more. So we have our whites bumped up, our exposure bumped up a little bit. Saturation, let's bring this up just a tad, a little bit less. You can always change this after you paint onto it. And let's bring some of these highlights out as well as some clarity. Let's make this brush a little bit smaller. So let's see what this looks like. You can see that exhaust comes out a lot more after the fact. Very nice so far. All right, so now we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna quickly just remove this and any other things that I think are irrelevant. I'm using the lasso tool or L and just creating a little rectangle around it. Right clicking, we're gonna do fill, content aware, normal, 100% opacity, and it's gone. And I think the last thing I'm gonna just do here is crop it down. Now I always crop my photos down to 10 by, let me see, 1350 by 1080, other way around, 1080 by 1350. This is the max size that you can upload on Instagram, about there. And we will save this is the same image, but I usually put cropped in there. That way you always have the full version in case you want to add any more edits to it. Let's go ahead and head back to Lightroom and finish the last photo, which is going to be the most difficult one. Now, the reason why I say that is because I personally think this is a great shot. It has a lot of great lighting. However, there is a lot going on. What I personally would have done is I would have spaced out the riders a little bit more. That way you have less to focus on and it's just gonna come out less cluttered in a sense. This part here is actually a little bit of my favorite because I typically look for leading lines. These leading lines help direct your viewer where to look. Like I said, this is gonna be the most difficult photo to work with. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Photoshop and do a little bit of cleanup here. Open this up. I'm gonna start by getting rid of this sign. Use the lasso tool or L. I'm just gonna draw around this. Right click, fill, content aware, normal 100. Doesn't always do a great job. This time it looks like it did pretty well actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the S tool. Bring a little bit of this tree back in. Same thing here. Do a quick save, always save. All right, as you can see, the pole is gone. It immediately puts all the focus back in on the riders. Look at the difference. 
focus goes directly to the to the riders, nothing else really. So next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bring a little bit more depth of field into this entire image. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock this layer, duplicate it. I'm gonna take my W tool, which is a quick selection. I'm gonna go in and select every bit of these riders and their bikes. All right, so I have gone in and selected almost everything that I could as far as the details go. I will go in and fine line everything in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and open the quick selection tool again after zooming in, and we will do layer via copy, or we can do select and mask. I leave it up to you. Um, I'm gonna see, let me see for this one, I think I'm just gonna do the layer via copy and label this riders. Quick save, Command S, and we're gonna go in, and I'm just gonna delete this underneath or disable. We're gonna go in and just quickly get rid of any imperfections with the erase tool on top of our layer. Just make sure it's selected. Go in and delete anything that's not necessary. Okay, this is honestly good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these layers back. And what I'm gonna do is take the layer underneath and the reason why I'm gonna label this main actually, just in case I delete it. We'll lock this one. Then I'm gonna take this one. We're gonna go to filter, blur, and I'm gonna place a tilt shift in the background. And you're gonna see what's, what it's gonna do. And if we take this, you can choose how much blur you would like. And you can see the background starts to change. Obviously you don't want that much, but you can see where it starts and where it ends. So it clearly starts here and it feathers its way all the way up. That slight effort helps your image pop quite a bit more. Well, that wraps up today's video. Thank you to all of those who submitted an image. I hope that I was able to bring you some value today and that you learned something new. If you'd like to have one of your photos featured, please follow and tag your photos on Instagram at BikerGrid, where I post photos that you guys create and submit. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Nick Vandervet. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.